lots of amazing drummers. Man, I've seen you guys really love drum solos, drum sheds, and all those crazy stuffs. And I really love the fact that you guys are very keen on learning how to do them the right way. And that's why I'm back today with another mind-blowing secret that will drastically improve your drum solos, your drum sheds, your chopping, and all those good stuff. But very importantly, I would love you guys to note that you really need to watch this video to the end patiently so as to grasp what I'm talking about. It's not what you just scroll by and you know jump through. You need to patiently watch through what I'm saying. This is your first time of hearing about something like this as this video can really, really change everything you know about timing and open you to a new sphere of drum solos and sheds. Now for today's lesson, we are going to be making use of a metronome. Now for those of you that know what a metronome is, a metronome is simply a device that is used by musicians to keep tempo. Now the metronome does this by, you know, making a tick sound, just like your clock, tick, tick, tick sound. Or you can set it to any sound you want, that is if you have a digital metronome, I mean like an app on your phone, you get. Finally, one thing that is very important for you to note before we get fully into the lesson is the importance of the metronome. We are using the metronome today because we are going to be messing around with time, yeah, what you normally call off timing, you know. And I'm going to be showing you infinite possibilities that exist if you decide to mess around with timing a little bit. You get me? Let's get started. So what we're making use of today now in this video is called the one e end accounting system. The one e end accounting system is something you always hear if you watch drum videos a lot. You hear one e ender, two e ender, three e ender, four e ender. You get this is very important if you really want to you know follow me through today's lesson. Now, how do you understand this one e ender concept? So that's where our metronome comes in today. So um, let me open up my metronome quickly. So this is the metronome I use. And I would advise you to use the same metronome for the sake of this video today. What we are doing here now, we are setting our metronome to 70 BPM, first of all. We are at 70 BPM. So if I play, this is how it sounds. So, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what I will do now is that I will set this thing to 16th notes. You get. Once I set it to 16th notes, you begin to see where one E and R comes in. So now press it now. 1 E N R, 2 E N R, 3 E N R, 4 E N R. Do you get so to understand the concept of 1 E N R, just relate it to 16th notes. Do you get that's the best way you can understand it at this um, tempo. So now, basically, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can come in on the 1, how you can come in on the E, how you can come in on the N, how you can come in on the R. And I'll do that with a metronome. I'll play it for you at 70 BPM, I'll play it at 100 BPM, I'll play it at 130 BPM. So let's get started. You get so this is the E sounds a little bit tricky, but you need to practice it a lot before you can move on to the next one. So I'm moving on to N now. So now we'll speed up this thing to 100 BPM and do the same exact thing now.
now what I'm going to do now is we're going to play this thing at 1.30 BPM. This is where you begin to see how it actually applies while playing in music. So now if you paid very close attention to what I was doing, you'd have noticed that I played the same thing all through, but just that the difference was where I came in was slightly different from coming in traditionally or conventionally in the one like we know. So you discover that there are subdivisions in between one and two. One E and that two. So you don't just have one, two, three, four. Between one and two, you have four counts in between. Do you get? So we have one E and that two, you get to two. Two E and at three. So in between those one, two, three, four, in between each of them, I played with the four subdivisions that exist between them. Now for better application around the drums, the place I find it more useful is in something like applying it with the flammer dido. That's the flam para dido. Flam right, left, left. Flam, you get flam right, left, left. So. so we're going to be playing this stuff around the drums. You get so we have. Every right hand note stays on this thumb, every left hand note stays on the snare. So we have... So now I'm going to try apply the same thing we did earlier on with this same rudiment now. So the... Entry on the 1, on the E, on the N, and the R with this rudiment. We are at 100 BPM now. Just to note, you see how nice it changed from the first one to this one, just because of the entry point. Let's move to the next one. last part of what I'm going to be showing you guys here is something that applies more or it can apply anywhere actually but I'm doing especially for the African drummers because most of the pro Afro drummers we know do this kind of stuff a lot and I've decided to break this thing down so you see that it's not actually so difficult it's just play with your timing a little bit and then you've gotten it so let's apply the same thing we learned now while we're playing a normal Afro groove
guys, there you have it. In as much as I did lots of playing today, um, I made sure I was able to show you guys a this is a secret. If you understand the secret, you'd have one idea, just one idea, but you'd be able to play it in four different ways. And that is enough already. So imagine when you have 10 ideas, you can play it in 40 different ways. So I want you to patiently practice these things, take your time and play them very slowly first of all, then find a way and build your speed gradually up and you would have a lot of very crazy tools in your toolbox of tools for drum solos. So if this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button, you know, subscribe to this channel, share this video to a drummer that you think is going to be beneficial to the person. And if you also want to keep learning more things about drum solo like this, um, I want you to check this video right here. This video I also taught things about drum solos that I believe you should learn. Go check it out.